yes hello welcome to this video series and in this video series i'm going to be showing you how to use autocad for engineering drawings and with this video series i'll be using autocad 2017 but if you have any version later than 2017 it should work fine yeah so before we get started in this very first video i'm going to show you how to get around if this is your very first time of using autocad I'm going to show you how to get around and what it, uh, you're actually supposed to do from there. So as soon as you open AutoCAD uh, from your icon or start, you can go to start and type uh, AutoCAD. Okay, you can go to start and type AutoCAD. Then simply launch that. Uh, with whichever icon you see, just uh, hit enter and then it will open right up. So the very first page should have this icon that says start drawing you can either start drawing or you can use this there's a new that creates a blank drawing file or you can open up any recent drawing that you've worked on so okay so let's go ahead and start drawing uh, yes so we're going to see a blank drawing just like this one it should say uh, drawing one or whatever with uh, there's a model here and this is the model space and we have layout one and layout two depending on what you see but the whole point is there should be model and then there should be something here sometimes you you, you see work so if you are looking at uh, whatever is written work is still okay yeah so first thing first uh, this is the area where you're going to do all your construction and we call this the model space and the other parts the ones that say layout or work this is where you print your drawn objects okay like if you want it to be printed on paper then it has to be transferred here uh, which we call the paper space uh, so you can have several drawings here in this area you can put as many drawings as you want and then you can choose which of the many drawings you have here goes uh, in either one of the layouts that you will have created for printing okay so first things first before we start uh, any actual drawing we have to first set the units of measurements that we want to use either inches or millimeters so that's what you're going to do so simply type units hit enter and we should see a small window like that one that says drawing units so um, length the type is decimal here and uh, you go ahead and change the precision to uh, either no decimal place or one decimal place uh, depending on uh, your precision so I usually work with this one and for the angle is that one and then the insertion scale we want to be working with millimeters since we are looking at engineering drawings so we work with millimeters so I go ahead and select millimeters here and you don't have to worry about any other thing here and you don't change any other thing here so just click OK so now the units our units are set to millimeters meaning whatever we're going to be drawing here is going to be in millimeters okay so before you actually get to draw we have to explore the uh, whatever we see here so these these are called ribbons so we have for instance the home ribbon the insert ribbon the annotate ribbon uh, and so on okay so basically the home ribbon is where we mostly interact uh, if we are doing any actual drawing it has some drawing tools we have the draw section uh, we have the modify section the annotation section layers block and so on as you can see then we have the insert where you can insert uh, additional objects onto your autocad drawing if you want but we're not going to be using this uh, at any one point then the annotate if you want to do anything like labeling adding dimensions and so on and use this one and uh, i don't think we're going to use any of these other ones okay for now 
okay so we mostly use the home and annotate for, for this series so under the home um, let's say you want to draw a simple object like uh, uh, for instance we can attempt to draw a square using the line tool so we can simply click uh, line and then come over here and uh, just click anyway let's click once and you don't have to hold the mouse button and just start pulling to either direction that you want so uh, I have something here there's a caption that says polar 157 oh uh, and there's an angle sign that says zero degrees so that means I'm drawing a line and at the moment I've stretched that line to a distance of yeah, 157 millimeters those are millimeters the units that we set and that line is uh, horizontal perfectly horizontal because it's zero degrees to the horizontal okay so if I want to draw that line let's say at any other angle uh, upward okay like upward then uh, I have to look at the angle so all angles are being counted from uh, in the counterclockwise direction okay yeah so we can just uh, draw a line of say okay just zoom in a bit and we can draw a line of say 50 so instead of uh, stretching it all the way to 50 we just simply have to type 50 and press enter so that line will be at 50 okay yeah so like I said all angles are counted counterclockwise according to the setting in the units so if I move upwards the angle is increasing from 0 10 30 40 and so on so I want to draw at an angle of 90 degrees okay let me zoom out and then zoom in at that point so still I want to go upwards by uh, the same 50 because I'm drawing a square so just simply time the 50 and so on and so on okay so we could choose to keep typing 50 but that is a wastage of time okay and I could still type the 50 again here okay the angle of 270 degrees because now I'm going down okay? so I'm counting the angle like this counterclockwise to 270 degrees I can still type 50 okay and it's done so in order to get rid of the line uh, drawing tool you can just escape so we have a square 50 by 50 yeah it's a perfect square okay yeah even if you zoom in you won't see any broken points so it's a perfect square okay so alternatively uh, uh, before we go any further i could just show you uh, why the angles are going counterclockwise if you go back to units simply type units you notice that if i click this then i'll be going clockwise okay, click this then okay so let's go back to the line tool start from around here and um, i'll still type the 50 so now if i go in this direction now that is yeah, counterclockwise the angles are decreasing and not increasing but if i go clockwise now the angles are increasing in the clockwise direction okay so yeah i'm going to go ahead and um, escape okay so let me get rid of this as well so let me go back to uh, units and set it to the default because i'm kind of used to the default setting okay so now another way of drawing the uh, this the square is if we could use uh, if we could just track the lines so again i'll draw the line stretch it out by 50 just simply type 50 then going upwards i'll still type 50 uh, now instead of typing 50 again i just have to track this point with some point here click and then uh, click there okay so now we can just 
escape there okay so we can use the measure tool to make sure it's actually uh, the size that we want so if i measure from there to there should say 50 okay that distance is 50 so if i measure again from here to here that distance is also 50 okay so yeah i believe that is a square we don't need to measure this and this because it's already 50 like we tight in the keyboard okay so now that is one way of drawing a square so alternatively you could use the rectangle tool there's a tool here that says rectangle if you click the, the drop down button you would see polygon or rectangle but we are choosing rectangle so simply click rectangle and click here click any point and drag out uh, a square or something uh, now you notice somewhere here this is what we call the uh, command window uh, it says specify the other corner point uh, or area or dimension or rotation so we could simply click dimension or specify by area but we're going to do it by dimension so just simply click here or simply type letter d which is uh, short for dimension okay just type d and press enter now in the command window we have specify length of the rectangle so uh, at the moment our rectangle tool has disappeared okay momentarily so it's okay so now we want that rectangle to be 50 in length and 50 in width so simply type 50 enter specify the width the width is also 50 enter now we have that rectangle which is moving about uh, it is asking for where you would like to place it so simply place it in any direction you want click and it will be placed there okay so now we have a bunch of drawings okay they are, they are actually squares so you can go ahead and use the circle tool if you want um, yeah we could specify a circle by center and radius and we could also uh, draw arcs using uh, various methods okay we can also draw uh, ellipses using various methods yeah but we will be looking at all those in the next uh, coming videos okay so yeah uh, and in the upcoming videos i'll show you how to visualize whatever you've drawn here in the paper space okay because we have the model space over here and the paper space over here okay yeah so that's it for this video